What's going on, PvP Fonz Boogies? Come on. Today's a, today's video, we're going to be talking about pocket dogs. Now, my understanding, let's bring up Kira for a minute. Kira is either going to be a pocket or standard. But right now, the way she's growing, I'm thinking this, these dogs are going to be, well, when I mean these dogs, I'm talking about her little mates or just her in general um you know I'm, I'm expecting her right now where she's going to be a pop standard you know but i know in the pedigree um it is pocket dogs if that makes sense a pocket dog it's a dog that's 16 inches 15 might get some of them as um you might get some of them that are four four inches Show you how to drive. Here. Here. Kira. Let me see if she worried about the sticks. So, four, um, 13 inches. You know, that's... I guess you'll call that real pocket. But my pocket, 16 inches. 15. 15 going on 16. You know, but that direct 16. You know, athleticism is a big thing. You know, I like to see in pocket dogs. You know, a pocket dog is supposed to throw people off. It's supposed to say, ah, your dog ain't going to do nothing. As soon as when you give it that one command, you give it that one command, the dog, dog goes berserk. You know, you know, your dog should have morals. And as a breeder, should breed for morals and certain traits that you want in the dog. Now, I'm be honest with you, I didn't create this dog. I went out and bought it. But, uh, I went out and bought this dog. So, my job is, got, is to take her to a dog that's going to compliment her. No, don't drink that. That's going to compliment her. And um, symbolize her. And that's going to better her puppies. You know. It's going to better her puppies. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's going to better her puppies. And yes. The dog that I will be taking her to. Is a pocket. I like pockets. I like pockets to standards. My program, you're going to see dog 16 to 17 inches. 17 inches probably going on 18, but mainly 17 inches. I mean, 16 to 17 inches. Um, and I'm going to let y'all know now, this dog is only getting bred two times. You know, this dog is only getting bred two times. But back on subject, you know, a pocket is supposed to People are supposed to look at this dog be like, damn, this dog can move. You know, and do you have some people that's going to think these dogs can't move. You know, a pocket is supposed to get down. It's supposed to get down, be trainable. You know. And over here, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get pocket dogs that's athletic. They have morals in life and that's healthy you know and that's coming from me it's coming from me so if y'all see how Kira growing right now you know she is going through that lanky stage and she is growing but only thing is the bully is just like it's it's am staff. You know, exaggerated features, exaggerated feature, um features. And that's the same thing with a, a pocket dog. Pocket dog is shorter than a standard, but the pocket dog should be able to get down with a standard and running, playing, everything. You know? Now I didn't take my exact measurements on Kira yet. Because I feel like there's no need until she hit that year mark. Right now, she is 
seven months and two more, two going on three weeks, she will be eight months. Um, ah, those sticks. Um, I know this area right here, this park is clean because it's the kids' area and, it's, and it was snowing. So, so. Pocket dogs, you know, are supposed to have bone mask. Bone mask, but besides that, when you look at a pocket, a pocket dog. A pocket dog is supposed to be athletic. It's supposed to be trainable, you know. It's supposed to get down with the get down. And over here, you know, Kira's still working. But if I tell her to light you up, that's what I want her to do, you know. And this dog has a lot of drive. Right now I'm trying to get her into the toys because this dog is, this dog is, how can I put it? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry the video got short. Um, somebody was asking me some questions and, you know, over here, I really don't like my dog running around because it's not a, how can I put it? A friendly neighborhood, if that makes sense. My dog is still a puppy, so she don't know no better. You know, she do have that protective instinct in a way. But dude was perfectly fine. Dude was perfectly fine. Nice person. You know, he was asking about the breed. Um, what would she, what would you consider her? You know, right now I'm saying, standard pocket. Um, even if she is, even if she do turn a standard, doesn't matter to me you know like i said you know we're, we're we're talking about pockets today the video is about pockets you know and um what else oh the abkc um they changed their ruling you know every five five six years they always change the ruling i hate that i hate that but it seemed like um, people just don't know how to breed to the standard or breed them within their standard that's correct. Hey, leave the sticks alone. Come on. You're going to get sick, man. And right here, me, we breed. We haven't had a first production yet for PVP as in American Bullies. But, um, you know, we're going to, I know for sure. The stud I take her to. We're gonna be fitting it, the mass, the the exaggeration, everything is gonna be there. So I'm not worried about it. And the other thing is to years early, she is seven months. But as a breeder, you should plan your breedings. Three years, four years in advance. Me, I planned all my breedings five years in advance. Come here. I planned all that out. So I know with each breeding, what I'm going to get, how I'm going to get it, and what to get. And I know from the first breeding that I use, um, I'm going to get I'm gonna get pockets. Might, if she turns a standard, might get maybe two, maybe two standards. But that's for that first breeding, that's what I'm not going to be keeping. Um, you know, like I said, you're playing your breedings out. And like I told you, she's only getting two. And she's going to be retired. You know. What's up, girl? What's up, girl? She's going to be retired. And the blood on her. Gav, Fraser's Edge. And if you see from the from the sides right there, you know, this dog's growing up like a Gav, Gav dog. And, you know, them dogs look a little funny. So I get a lot of people asking me to... How how her shape front and all that. And I'm like, you know, as a breeder, it's my job to fix that. You know, because not every dog is perfect. So the uh, pocket puppies that she will be holding, they're not going to have that, that snipey look right there. You know, you're supposed to want to breed into the the ABKC the ABK the ABKC standard, but 
but have your own flex to it that's still correct and we had to park let's see your boy man i look a little rusty man look a little definitely look a little rusty i don't like putting myself on camera when i'm holding the phone because i am doing these videos on the phone i like to be on the camera when i see somebody holding it and you can see my whole body or you can just see you know me preparing what i'm doing you know oh Oh, another thing is, too, I bought a flare pole. <laughs> but, hey, what is that you're eating? Cut it out. Uh, let that go. Hey, come in. Now you're going to run for me. This dog, man. Hey, drop it. Drop it. That's a bone. You don't do that. You don't eat bones. You eat at home. You eat good food. You eat good food at home. Come on, let's go. So, you know, fix the, I forgot what I was saying. But everything, you, as a breeder, you wanna fix everything that you're missing and what can your dog bring to the table? So like I said, this dog right here, if you heard of my Instagram live, this dog right here is gonna put in work, but she's not gonna put in work and how the, the stud will. Now, a female has to bring something to the table too. And she brings athleticism and her half intelligence, her intelligence. So we're hoping, we're hoping this girl turns out like a pocket. And, um, and if she does, it's an A1 for us as a standard. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. But today's topic is about, uh, um, you know, the, the pocket. And, you know, I want to talk on that because you know, I changed it. And thank goodness the the stud we picked, you know, um, the stud that we plan on using, he fits in that new ABKC rule. And that ABKC stand. Come in. Come in. Over here. They, oh my gosh, they he fits in that new, that new standard. Now y'all probably thought, hold on y'all, hold on y'all. Y'all probably thought I was gonna release the stud, but y'all got seven more months to wait. Put her back on the leash. People starting to come in the park. People. People friendly, but I don't like nobody petting my dog like that. I don't like nobody petting my dog like that. Unless a kid or something like that. Or, you know, you're just a person. I feel your energy is good, you know? But back back what I'm saying, y'all thought I was going to release the stuff. Y'all got seven more months for that. <laughs> y'all got seven more, more months for that. Trust me. Come on, girl. That thought I was gonna release the stud, y'all. Y'all was tripping. Y'all was tripping. Come on. But I'm giving y'all some live and about action, this girl. Um. Give y'all some live about action. And you know, just just wait for it. You know, we're gonna um our first litter in the game is gonna be pocket dogs. Pockets, you know. My word, pocket monsters, pocket beasts, pocket everything. <laughs> pocket everything, you know. You know, I want people to look at my dogs and especially Oh my gosh, you're choking. Throw it up. See, that's what happens when you eat the, the sticks. See? Damn, she ate all of that. All of that. And she eats at home every day. But, what's it called? You know, me over here, when you get a dog, I feel like a lot of people are going to sleep on that dog. And it's your job as the, the person that buys one of these dogs in the future. Or at the end of the year or 
or the beginning of next year is your job to show these people like my dog could get down the blood that my dog has is, is amazing it it'll chow your ass down you get what i mean and and that's what i want to see i want to see that because like i said you see this dog right here and you see how athletic she is and you know sometimes she can't be hard-headed but this dog is very intelligent like if she can't get the latch open if she can't get this latch open right here which just sound crazy she's throwing up more if she can't get this latch open she she um she bites the leash and she'll rip the leash until she gets free which just sound crazy but I'm about to give y'all a front shot of this dog. I'm about to give y'all something to look at. No, it's not choking her. <laughs> this right here, ooh, Dollar Tree toy. It was a waste of money. Because she barely plays with it. My dog right here, she'd rather play with socks and and sneakers. Socks and sneakers she'd rather play with. Well, I like this right here this thumbnail right here thumbnail thumbnail she'd rather play with socks socks and shoes oh and another thing is too i don't for people that look at my content and people that be on my facebook or instagram i don't post every day i don't like every day i don't I don't barely be on social media. It's me and this dog. You know, it's me and this dog. Half of the time, I'm sitting there. If I talk to you, that's a good thing. You know, I give my advice. But other than that, I'm barely on the social media. You know what I mean? You got to text or call me. And I do post my little YouTube videos. But when I do post on social media, it's... In the dog category, the business page, PBP Finest Bullies. If you haven't followed that Instagram yet, go follow it. It's PBP underscore Finest underscore Bullies. The kennel name is Pitbull Palace Finest Bullies, but I narrowed it down to PBP Finest Bullies. So get with the program. Get with the program. Come on. Get with the program, man. Let's go. Let's go. See what I mean? Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And what I like about this dog is she's very nosy. Very nosy. And I like that. Because if somebody walking behind me, I want my dog to alert me. I want my dog to look back. Like, dude, come come back here. Look, look. Oh, what was this? Look at look at the people behind you. Check them out. You know? Check them, check them out. Who behind you? And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pet the dog. Thank you for letting me know. Thank you. And I like this about her already. Seven months old and she's doing that. Seven goddamn months old and she's doing that. You know, it's, I'm not speaking, trying to boost the dog up. The dog is only seven months. Let's go. The dog is only seven months. But hanging around me and hanging around the other dogs I have produced, American Pitbull Terriers, she learned a lot. And no, I'm not promoting American Pitbull Terriers. I don't even breed them no more. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to breed American Bullies, and I'm only trying to stick with one thing with the American Bullies: it's breeding, breeding athletic, athletic, trainable, and and healthy American Bullies that could last up to 10, 12 years. You know. And that's why I said, the way this dog is doing, she's doing good. And I, I, she holds a big future. Up, up and coming female. She holds a big future. Like I said, I'm always stressing this again. This dog is only getting bred two times. You know, I usually do. I let a dog go for four breedings. But this dog right here is only going for two. And the reason why this dog is going for two when you're breeding dogs, you, you got to have a vision. You got to have a vision. And this right here, this dog right here is going to bring that vision true 
of the dog that I want. And like I said, the stud, that's all I'm giving y'all. That's all I'm giving y'all. The stud is a pocket. And, you know, she's growing up, might be a pocket, might be a standard, but I know for sure she's going to, in her pedigree, she's going to have pockets. Her granddaddy, her granddaddy is uh, Denzel. Um, Denzel. Thank you, thank you. You could want her if you you want her if you have her. Yeah. Yeah, man. Just give me the three thousand. You have her. Three thousand. Yeah. Give me the three thousand. You have her. Nah, I'm just joking around. Having some fun today. You know, in this neighborhood, you know, a lot of people they get this dog mixed up with American pit bull, terrier, game dog, or just a smut or a smut, whatever you want to call it. But I gotta let people know I'm not flexing on nobody. But this dog is a different caliber of a dog. Come here. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. This dog is a different caliber. You get what I mean? So I'm just letting people know. Look at the sun brightening it up. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Hold on. Mother, matter of fact. I should get... Nah, I think I got enough footage for today. So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. I know I didn't touch on... I probably did. I probably did. Let me know if I touched on everything about a pocket. If you want to know any anything else more about a pocket or how I feel a pocket should look, let me know. Let me know. And don't think y'all going to come up in my DMs or my comment section down below ask me who I'm going to breed with her with or... or or who y'all think I'm going to breed with. Because y'all don't know. Y'all do not know. And I'm going to keep that on the hush until she gets her first period. She gets her first, second period. And I'm and I'm going to hold that. Like, I, I want to let it out so bad. But I'm going to hold that, you know. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. Come here. What's up, girl? So if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share, you know, and we out. Yeah, I kind of end this video like this, man. This video is just going to be a long ass video. So basically, I f another thing I forgot to tell about, a pocket dog should be able to breed naturally. If your dog can't breed naturally, he's that short, or he just that has that much of a breathing problem, man, clip that dog balls, man. That dog should not be breeding. The only way, you know, some breeders are meant to be when you do AI, but I like natural. I like natural ties. I like seeing the dogs get it. I like seeing it. And I don't mind doing the AI, but I don't want to do the AI if that makes sense. I want to see the dog get it himself. You know, how would you feel as a man? You got to do an artificial insemination to have kids. That doesn't make no that doesn't make no sense at all and i feel like pocket dogs should breed naturally breed naturally and get it on and the people that's breeding pocket dogs like a breed naturally doesn't have a breathing problem doing it i i i mend you for that i mess with you i rock with you because we need that we need to show people these pocket dogs can breed naturally now i don't have a male dog just yet but i'm just saying that's how a pocket dog should be a pocket dog should be able to breed naturally, you know, and, and do everything the natural way. You know, if you got to run AI sometimes, go ahead. But if the dog can get it himself, let it know. Let it be known. You know, it's okay if a pocket, he breeds the dog that's like 22 inches, 20, 23 inches, and you got to you gotta do AI or you got to help him get in there. I don't mind helping him get in there. You know, I'd rather just not do the AI. I want to see a natural lock. You know, sometimes them AIs don't work. You know, you got to keep on spending money on a progesterone test or have a vet do it. You know, some people just have good ass luck with it. Me over here, I try the AIs only have one successful breeding. But other than that, I like to see the pocket dogs get it themselves. And I like to see natural breedings. I hate doing 
you know, these AIs. But if I have to do one, I will. But pocket dogs should be able to breed naturally. I repeat, pocket dogs should be able to breed goddamn naturally. All right, we back. We out. I had to stress that for a minute. I will be showing you a clip of Kira yesterday, how she's turning out and how thick she is coming. So I decided to put this in today's video. So y'all be seeing some side shots, front shots of Kira and how she's um, growing and maturing. Um, y'all gonna be seeing the head, the structure. Like I said, you know, this is gonna be the first dog, you know, nothing to brag about. You know, um, as she grow, you will see everything going and how her development is. So, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. This video was mainly on talking about pockets, but I decided to put this in because I did it yesterday. I didn't want to upload it to YouTube, and it wasn't enough content, enough footage.